لقد جاءك الحق من ربك فلا تكونن من الممترين ولا تكونن من الذين كذبوا بآيات الله فتكون من الخاسرين تقال Did I ever have doubts? Um, I don't think that I ever had a doubt about Islam as a whole. Um, I definitely had areas that I wanted to question and, and I think that we need to separate the two. Uh, doubt for me is not a good thing. Like if you, if you sit there thinking, oh, I don't know if Islam is true or not and you're a Muslim, then I think that that's not a great, that's not a great thing, to, that's not a good, great place to be. And, uh, you know, with all, with all uh, gratitude to, to God, I never felt that. But definitely there are questions that arise. And Islam isn't against you asking questions. So, for example, you might say, look, I just, you know, I'm Muslim and I believe in Islam. But I, I, this area here, I'm not, you know, I've, I've been hearing people say this. It may be what that you've been hearing is not even true. I mean, there are so many things that Muslims tell you about Islam that are not true. Like, I got told about the two witnesses. That's a, a little thing. But reality, like, there are lots of big things Muslims tell you that aren't true. Uh, and so asking questions and having doubts about individual issues. Like, for example, I don't understand. Are we really required to pray? Is it really five times a day? It's not, it's not three, it's not four. It really is five. Like, can I, I want to understand more about that. Why is that? That's okay to ask that question after you've become a Muslim. You're not doubting Islam. You just want to understand more about the, the context or more about what, whether it's allowed or not. But uh, I don't think I ever had a moment where I felt doubt. Quick hypothetical situation. What would I have done if I had felt doubt? Doubt is of two types. A doubt which is a fleeting doubt. Okay, A fleeting doubt, I mean it's very quick. It comes to you, and then you're like, no, don't be silly, that's ridiculous. Um, and those doubts are a part of faith. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, uh, the translation of which is, do you really perceive it? The companion said, we perceive things that one of us would be embarrassed to speak about. In a fleeting, a fleeting doubt. He would rather become a piece of burnt charcoal than to speak about what comes through his mind. He said, do you really perceive it? And in some narrations he said, this is faith. Because there's nothing wrong with having a fleeting doubt that you follow up with faith. And you had like, like something comes into your mind that Islam is not true. Of course Islam is true. And it's a fleeting doubt and you come back to it. There's no issue with that. The more difficult situation are people who have persistent, regular doubts. And the answer for that is just simply for me, it's just a journey of knowledge. You go and learn. Go and learn what Islam is, what Islam isn't. And I believe very strongly that when you do that, those doubts very quickly become, become erased.